This is a story about shapes. These arrows tell the story of some mortality rates. The first represents deaths from cardiovascular disease. The second, lung cancer. Third, breast cancer. And fourth, diabetes-related deaths. Science advances, treatments improve, and lives are saved. A fifth arrow represents suicide deaths. Despite advances, suicides are not decreasing. But why? Examine these two dashed lines. This one is science, all the data, lab research, and academic innovation leading to treatment developments. And this one is service, the mental health care providers treating patients in community settings. Both are necessary parts of effective mental health care, but it's the space between that's causing trouble. This is called the science to service gap, and it's easy to get lost here. Just ask Sally. She's stuck here in need of treatment for anxiety. Effective treatments have been developed in the lab, but finding them in the community is often difficult. To understand, let's look at the story of clinical science training for anxiety disorders. We'll be right back, Sally. These squares and arrows line up like an assembly line for science. This is basic science, which found things like avoidance and rumination contributing to anxiety. These data inform the next square, intervention development, where protocols for things like relaxation, exposure, and cognitive reframing were created. Follow this to efficacy trials, where exposure-based, cognitive behavioral, and acceptance-based interventions were tested in tightly controlled lab settings. Voila, a shiny new evidence-based treatment has been developed. But what now? Scientists who study dissemination and implementation have realized this one-way assembly line is not the most effectively shaped tool to move science into the community. Outside laboratories, shapes are harder to confine and that makes it difficult for science to measure and study them. In real-world service settings, contextual complications can make implementation of a laboratory-developed treatment difficult. It's time to shape things up. The Center for Training, Evaluation, and Community Collaboration at the University of Delaware is reshaping the way treatment developers, community partners, graduate students, and clinical trainers collaborate to make clinical science more impactful and to rescue people like Sally from the science to service gap. CTEC functions not only as a training clinic, wherein students are clinically trained and supervised, but also functions as a connection between the university clinical science program and the broader academic and mental health community. Students are trained as experts in EBPs, but also as trainers and consultants to community providers. CTEC is the hub, which allows students to work with the community to identify needs, plan action, implement, evaluate, and refine treatments making everyone's efforts more relevant and more potent for community needs. By connecting clinical science training to the community, each partner can inform and refine the other. Mental health care can move forward, training students to bridge the gap, and most importantly, deliver effective treatment to all those seeking mental health care. For more information or to collaborate with CTEC, visit us online.